And uh, Angel Reese has Paige Beckers. Or excuse me, Angel Gray has Paige Beckers. <laughs> you get the last spot in the Elite Eight, but Duke made you fight it out in that fourth quarter. What did you learn about how this team had to battle it out? Just our resilience. I think it's kind of what... I think it's kind of what we've been dealing with the entire year with having to battle adversity. Um, this is our second close game in a row, um, so it's really good for us heading into the Elite Eight, but a great victory. That's a great team over there, and they made us work for it. So, yeah. And depth not on your side at this point, but what are some things that you learned about how this team has to make sure that they win games with not many people coming off the bench? Just a whole lot of mental toughness just showing that. Um, it's, it's been like this the entire season, really, just our, our lack of depth and inconsistency in the lineup. Um, so everybody has to step up. Um, it can be anybody's night on any given night. I mean, we all have confidence in each other. Um, it's, it's next man up. Um, and it's just a lot of resilience, like I said. We get Paige Beckers and Juju Watkins, first team All-Americans in this next round. What are you excited about for facing her for the first time? Uh, yeah, she's a great player, a tremendous scorer, um, a freshman at that. So she's an awesome player. Um, I never believed in the one-on-one -on -one matchups. Obviously, the media's got to hype it up. But UConn versus USC, it'll be a great game, a great battle. It's a great team. Um, so we'll be preparing for that. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Thank you. So the UConn Huskies win it, and they move on to the Elite Eight Monday night against Southern Cal for our entire crew. Beth Bowens, Debbie Antonelli, Angel Gray, we'll see you tomorrow on the road to the Final Four.